How are you doing today, DJ? I'm great. And yourself? Absolutely fantastic. Dude, you inspire me because you have taken gospel through the South, and there's just so much to say <laughs> about the experiences that you must have gone through. Wow, that's an honor, first off. And yes, oh my gosh, it's been a crazy ride, but I'm along for it. But you know how we are here in the South, man. It's about raising our hands high in the air and singing along and putting, you know, just bringing Mima and exactly. everybody along for the ride. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a recent study came out that um, most of the people that are moving to North Carolina are all coming from Florida. Do you find yourself in a position like that where you're just going to make your way up here anyway? Oh, wow. I never thought about it, but I will say there is some good food over there. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was on tour with Hamilton, and I, I made a stop uh, in Charlotte specifically. Yeah. And I was like, I have to get out of here because I will eat like this all the time, and I won't be able to fit my costume. So. <laughs> oh, it's so true. It's so true. I mean, you've really got to have a discipline when you walk around the city because so many, you know, ever since Johnson & Wales came here with all of those, you know, future superstars as chefs. Oh, wow. So that's the speaker. Okay, now I know. <laughs> that's, now that, I know. That's where you learn that a big old plate of Southern food becomes a little thing of tapas is what it does, where it's like, okay, you mean I, I got to get full with that little <laughs> thing that you're giving me? Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> you have to just tie them all. You have to tie them all. That's what I do. So true. So being a part of the <laughs> Hamilton legacy, oh, my God, dude. I mean, we're talking about something that is going to last over 150, 200 years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's crazy. I never thought that I would be a part of that show um, this early in my career, let alone just being in a period. I, you know, I dreamed about it. I remember seeing it in 2017, but getting a call that I'd be in it two years later, just I did not fathom that. Because it, it's such unique music. I mean, I can't imagine what you went through vocal training or went through with vocal training in the way of bringing those songs to life because we're all spoiled. We've seen Hamilton, and, 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 and it's like, okay, now you're going to bring it to my town? I want that same experience every time. Yeah. Whoa. The, the fact that, you know, we were doing that, you know, every night in a different city and people had seen it originally on Broadway or some people were seeing it for the first time the way that it's so consistent across the board and the way that they have the knowledge printed, you know, and they keep it, they keep it close to them and they keep it so accurately. I mean, it's the most intricate show I've ever been in, <laughs> yeah. but in order for people to have that experience that they, you know, saw on Broadway or that they saw on Disney Plus, there's, there has to be some type of people in, 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 in you know, that are staffing it who want that experience to be consistent. And they definitely do that. I mean, it was, it was difficult, but it was some of the most grounding experiences I've ever had. Well, look at what you've done with the, with the lyrics of a song, because even with gospel, you've got to share a story. Then when you're with Hamilton, you've got to bring that story to life through body movement. How is it that you're evolving into this moment? And would you find yourself on Broadway? Wow. I mean, Broadway is definitely a, a goal that I've always had. Um, I enjoy exactly what you just said is bringing your heart and your soul through movement and through a song and through a story. It, it's everything to me. There's nothing like it. Um, being a singer and a songwriter with my own original music. I love being in the studio, but there's nothing yeah. like telling a story on stage. So I would absolutely um, love to be on Broadway in some capacity, hopefully really soon. Your experience is in that studio. Do you feel trapped? Because I do. I feel like it's like, Ugh, get me out of here. Get that <laughs> microphone away from me. Oh, wow. I mean, I think before before I started making albums, I think I had to learn how to come into my own voice mm -hmm. and not be scared of putting the headphones on and hearing what I sound like or recording some vocals and hearing what I sound like afterwards. Being in the studio now for me is almost like being in an experimental lab, yep. you know? <laughs> it's fun. I love trying out new things. I love creating like 50 stacks of harmonies in the studio and the engineer is like, DJ, what, what are we doing here? I don't have any room. I love that. I love that aspect. 
of going in and creating something from nothing. Yeah. It's it's so fun to me. So, but when you start layering your voice like that, do you ever think about how am I going to perform this live? Are we, are we going to have to have music in the background and it's pre-recorded? Oh, I'm always thinking about that. Yeah. When I'm doing an album, I'm always thinking, okay, can my singers do this live? What are we going to need in the background? Are we going to need stems for this? That's the fun part. I think it's so fun. Um, but I enjoy every second of it. How much are you in love with harmony? Because I've been told so many times, stop, stop. It's not all about the harmony. Oh, man. Harmony is like, it's everything to me. Me too. So I'll, I'll create a verse or a hook or something, and I automatically, my brain goes, okay, do we need harmony here? <laughs> do we need some layers here? What can we do here? It's so much fun. I read a story one time about the Andrew sisters from way long ago, and they said that they couldn't even listen Ooh. to the radio because they every song that came on, they wanted to harmonize with it. I'm guilty of that. What about you? <laughs> Absolutely, 100%. I do that all the time. I do it all the time. <laughs> I, heck, I'll even make up new words. I'll sit there and say, all right, this is my song now. I'm just going to rewrite the words to make it mine. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. I honestly think that's what got me into harmony. I would listen to records yep. and harmonize with them. And I think that's what kind of trained my ear into into harmony besides singing in church. But absolutely. Isn't it kind of weird how you trained yourself to listen beyond sound? I mean, we, everybody gets this one particular song that they've delivered, but yet your ear is listening. You could be listening to a bass beat or a saxophone. Exactly, exactly. The ear is incredible. I mean, the ear, the brain, our, our you know, just our human instincts are, are just incredible. And I definitely soaked all of that stuff in and start singing in the choir, singing different parts. It definitely helped being an artist and being a singer. Did your mother have a nickname for you in the, when you were five years old? Because my uncle used to call me show off all the time because I was always showing off. And to me, that was just the entertainer inside of me. And so, so your mother seeing you at five years old, what did you, did you have a nickname? Oh my gosh, not that I can think of right off the top of my head. Uh, oh my goodness, my my grandfather, my dad's father used to call me Hollywood yeah, when I was younger. See, they did see <laughs> so it. So that's one thing that I could think of. See. It's like he knew, like that one, he's going to be a performer. <laughs> <laughs> when did you know that you were going to be that artist? Because I mean, it's at, it's, it doesn't just click on, It's it's a feeling that you get that grows inside of you. I would have to say I did this gospel theatrical stage play when I was younger, probably like five. And I was very afraid to sing still at that point. But that kind of got me out of the stage fright. It wasn't until high school. I went to a fine arts school and I was around so many people that enjoyed performing and singing and acting and dancing. And it brought something out of me that I didn't know I could experience. I did my first Broadway musical in high school and it changed wow. me forever. Wow. And I think that's when I knew that I, I needed to do this all the time. Wow. Where can people go to find out more about you, DJ, and give you a lot of love? You can check me out on Instagram, who is DJ Young, and who is IZ, DJ Young, D E E, J A Y, Y O U N Z. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, DJ Young, and you can find out all upcoming shows, all of my music, and new updates at DJYoung.com. Love it. Please come back to the show anytime in the future, dude. I, it would be my pleasure. It was awesome talking to you. Thanks for having me. Well, you'd be brilliant today, okay? Thank you very much. Likewise.